Good evening, all fellow Singaporeans. Tajia, Wan Shang Hao. Assalamualaikum, para penduduk Bungal East SMC. Allow me to present the first part of my speech in Malay. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera, para pengundi Bungal East SMC. Terima kasih atas kehadiran anda. Hari ini saya mahu berkongsi pandangan saya dari perspektif seorang yang baru berumah tangga. Sebagai pasangan baru, satu-satunya kebimbangan yang ada pada saya adalah kos perumahan yang amat tinggi. Harga taksiran di pasaran terbuka untuk rumah jualan semula atau resale house price sekarang ada yang hampir mencatatkan harga rekod 1 juta dolar di estate-estate matang. Harga rumah baru atau BTO pula anggarannya antara 255,000 dolar hingga 330,000 dolar untuk untuk rumah jenis empat bilik di estate seperti Punggol dan Sengkang. Manangkala harga untuk lima bilik ialah antara 390,000 390 hingga 420,000 dolar. Meskipun harga rumah baru lebih rendah, saiznya agak kecil dibandingkan rumah lama. Kedua, walaupun harganya lebih rendah dibandingkan di pasaran terbuka, ramai warga Singapura hari ini harus mengambil pinjaman HDB terikat pada tempoh hampir 30 tahun. Walaupun berhutang selama 30 tahun, para pemimpin mengatakan bahawa harga bagi plat-plat HDB masih berpatutan. Adakah ini sentimen yang anda setuju? Pada pendapat saya, ini adalah satu masalah yang harus ditangani dengan segera oleh pihak pemerintah. Pertama, bila masa tua kelak, CPF kita akan ditahan mengikut minimum sum atau kadar minima. Kadar minima ini bermula pada 2003 bila kadar asal ditetapkan pada jumlah 80,000 dolar. Pada 2012 pula, kadar minima ini naik hingga 139,000 dolar. Dengan kenaikan ini, apakah yang tinggal untuk kita bila kita meniti baki usia senja memandangkan pinjaman HDB itu boleh mencapai hingga usia pensyen kita? Kedua, bagaimana dengan situasi anak-anak kita dan masa depan mereka? Haruskah mereka mengambil membeli rumah dengan harga yang lebih mahal dan mengambil pinjaman yang lebih lama. Ini adalah satu persoalan yang saya sebagai pasangan baru kerap terfikir. Para penduduk Punggol East dan warga Singapura yang saya amat hormati, pada pilihan raya umum 2011, Puan Li Li Lian pernah memberi ucapan tentang masalah perumahan. Puan Li Li Lian adalah satu rakan parti saya yang sudah cukup saya kenal. Kami pernah bekerjasama apabila merancangkan perjumpaan Hari Raya untuk penduduk Aljunit GRC. Beliau adalah seorang yang prihatin terhadap masyarakat Melayu. Saya yakin bahawa beliau adalah calon terbaik untuk memberi khidmat kepada kawasan undi ini. Saya harap anda sekalian boleh memberi sokongan padu terhadap Puan Li Li Lian dan parti pekerja. Sekian, terima kasih. Friends, during the 2011 general elections, one of the party candidates spoke about the housing issue which is close to my heart. This person is no other than the candidate for Punggol East SMC, Ms. Li Li Lian. <laughs> Dear friends, 
I just turned 28 years of age. As an ordinary, average Singaporean, the cost of housing affordability is one of the many major concerns that I have. And I'm sure many of the younger generation here share the same sentiments. Today, home prices have reached a record high, with some HDB resale price at prime location hovering the $1 million mark. Newer flats, though relatively cheaper, have shrunk in size, with a typical five-room flat costing approximately between $380,000 Singapore dollars to $450,000 in areas such as Sengkang and Punggol. Their square area is around 113 square meters. This is about the same size. This is about the same size as a 30-year-old four-room flat that cost without the COB. Four-room flats, however, have shrunk to 93 square meter. Due to the high price, many young couple, especially those in the sandwich class, have to take up longer loans between 20 to 30 years. Yet, the government says that HDB flats are affordable. It's paying for your HDB house for 20 to 30 years through your CPF until it runs dry, called affordable? I am deeply concerned. How much will a HDB cost? And what will the loan term be for our children's generation? There are other factors, such as job insecurity due to high foreign talent influx and the never-ending increase of CPF minimum sum. The minimum sum was set in 2003 at 80,000 Singapore dollars. Today, it is at 139,000 Singapore dollars. I wonder what will, the, what will the minimum sum be during the day when I reach the age of 55, which is in 27 years' time. After spending 30 years paying for our HDB flat through our CPF, the competition due to high foreign influx, which could potentially depress our wage, the question is, what is there left for us Singaporeans when we retire? Dear voters, I fear for the day when my children have to buy a house with bigger and longer loans. I fear when the number of opposition in parliament remains stagnant or worse still decrease and no opposition is voted in to ensure check and balance on the ruling party. I fear in 20 to 30 years time, our children will be at the losing end of their policy. I care for the nation's future. I care for our children's future. And this sentiment is similarly shared by Lee Li Lian, your candidate for Pungul East SMC. As the member of the Aljunied Constituency Committee, I have worked with Lee Li Lian a number of times, most notably during the recent Hari Raya celebration in 2012, where she was the chairperson and I was the organizing committee, sorry, part of the organizing committee. I remembered her dedication to ensure a great performance for the residents. And as a minority, I would be proud to have her as a representative if she is the elected MP of this constituency. Friends, Singaporeans, voters of Pungul East SMC, I remembered when Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew made a statement during the 2011 general election regarding the Aljunied voters. And I quote, if Aljunied decides to go that way, Aljunied has five years to live and repent. Did Haugang repent? <laughs> voters of Ungol East, we need to have Lee Li Lian in parliament. We need to have more elected Workers' Party MP. We need to give back the power to the people of Singapore. And we need your support to make the right choice. Vote for Workers' Party and vote for Lili Lian. Thank you.